Reading a pesticide label can be confusing with all the information they contain. Here are some tips for understanding and finding the information you need on that label. The label is a legal document providing directions on how to mix, apply, store, and dispose of a pesticide product. This means using a pesticide in a manner inconsistent with the label is a violation of federal law. The label is the law. Pesticide is a broad term that can be broken down into categories. Common pesticide classifications include herbicides to control weeds, insecticides to control insects, and fungicides to prevent disease. Today we are going to look at herbicide labels for examples, but all uh, pesticides have labeling and instructions like those examples we are using. Use classification is on the top of a pesticide label. The label on the left for Grazon P plus D is listed as a restricted use pesticide. This means you cannot purchase or apply this pesticide without a pesticide applicator's license. The example on the right for touchdown, you don't see that restricted use classification there at the top of the label. So that can be bought over the counter and does not have those restrictions. Brand or trade names are what is used by the manufacturer to advertise their product. The same active ingredient may be sold under several different names. So it's important to look at the ingredient statement and see the active ingredient name and also the percentage so you can compare and contrast. In this example, you can see that uh, glyphosate is the official common name followed by the actual chemical name, which is typically unpronounceable. That's why they have easy to use official common name. Always read the active ingredient list. Although two products may share the same active ingredient, there may be different percentages of each active ingredient. So in this case, we can see that there is 28.3% glyphosate and 71.7% .7 inert ingredients. The EPA registration and establishment numbers are located on the front of the label. The registration number is one of the pieces of information that must be included in the records you keep when applying restricted use pesticides. Emergency information and first aid procedures along with emergency contact numbers for the product manufacturer will be found on the label. The label will contain signal words uh, varying in severity from caution to warning to danger to danger poison. They also have precautionary statements that provide information about hazards to humans, domestic animals, and the environment, as well as storage and disposal information. The personal protective equipment section lists the PPE, which must be worn to minimize exposure. Mixing and loading may require different PPE than applying the pesticide. These statements indicate the minimum amount of protection that must be worn when using the product. This can be found on the front of the label, like in this example, or in other areas of the label. So be sure to read all the label to find what you need. Labels contain directions for use. Remember, the label is the law. It includes what pests are controlled, where the product can be used, how to apply and how much to apply, when the product should be applied, how often to apply the product, and how soon the product can be used or eaten after application, that's the pre-harvest interval, and then also when people and animals can re-enter a treated area after application. The example given here is the weeds list that 24D controls. This information is uh, useful in determining if the, you are selecting the right product for your problem. Remember the label will also list any restrictions or limitations when applied to specific crops. This may include application timing, amounts, carrier volume, wind speed limitations, pre-harvest intervals, and others. Be sure to read the entire label. Here are just a few examples of various labels. Remember that the labels have a peel open, so there's lots more information contained on those jugs, as you can see in these examples. The other thing is to remember if these labels get torn up or unreadable, 
all chemical labels are available online. If you do not have access to the internet, you're welcome to call MU Extension and we would be glad to print you a new label and mail it to you. Thank you for joining us and hopefully you've learned a little bit more about reading a pesticide label.